Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Alan G. White The Influence of Jesus in the Home September 29th But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 15 The truth as it is in Jesus does much for the receiver, and not only for them, but for all who are brought within the sphere of their influence. The truly converted souls are illuminated from on high and Christ within them, a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Their words, their motives, their actions may be misinterpreted and falsified, but they do not mind it because they have greater interests at stake. They do not consider present convenience. They are not ambitious for, for display. They do not crave the praise of others. Their hope is in heaven and they keep straight on with their eyes fixed on Jesus. They do, not, they do right because it is right and because only those who do right will have an entrance into the kingdom of God. They are kind and humble and thoughtful of others' happiness. They never say, am I my brother's keeper? but they love their neighbour as themselves. Their manner is not harsh and dictatorial like that of the godless, but they reflect light from heaven upon others. They are true, bold soldiers of the cross of Christ, holding forth the word of life. As they gain influence, prejudice against them dies away. Their piety is acknowledged and their Bible principles are respected. Thus it is with all who are truly converted. They bear precious fruit, and in so doing, walk as Christ walked, talk as he talked, walk, work as he worked, and the truth as it is in Jesus, through them make an impression in the home, in their neighborhood, and in the church. They are building characters for eternity while working out their own salvation with fear and trembling. They are exemplifying before the world the value principles of truth, showing what truth will do for the life and character of the genuine believer. They are unconsciously acting their part in the sublime work of Christ in the redemption of the world, a work which in its character and influence is far-reaching undermining the foundations of false religion and false science. The Lord wants you and your family to be Christian in every sense of the word and to show in your character the sanctifying power of truth. If you had formed such characters, your work would stand the test of judgment. Should the fires of the last day be kindled upon your work as they are now, they would prove to be only hay, wood, and stubble. Do not think this severe, it is true. Self has been mingled with all your labor. Will you come up to the high standard? This was your daily devotional. Thank you for listening. We hope you can listen again tomorrow. Homeward Bound.